Hello, Freddy here from Middle Ground Servers and quite often I get questions from new Deer Isle players about top locations for decent loot. So I decided to make video about Deer Isle loot routes. In this video I will give examples for few shorter loot runs that's not long and can be completed in a couple of hours. So the first one is Oceanville Paris Island. This one can be done in many ways and it depends on location where you actually spawn in. So in this case I spawn in close to Fisher's camp and I have to move west. Towards the west on Oceanville there are few water points and quite some civilian buildings and spawn locations for hunting gear. Looting these locations you will find some food, better clothing and maybe some gun. When you're done with this small island definitely go to Groth's Hill. That's great location for hunting gear and also for food. From this point you need to move southwest. You can go to Airfield or straight to Georgetown. On Airfield you will find some military clothing, some ammo and maybe some low tier guns. Georgetown is regular civilian location with police station, fire station, hospital and some military loot spawns. From Georgetown you aim to Paris Island. This military is quite big and spawns a lot of decent gear. Looting this place you should have some decent automatic rifle, plate carrier, etc. Originally on Paris Island you can find NBC gear. If you spawn in somewhere closer to Stunnington, definitely loot this city. It's very really similar to Chernogorsk, Berezino or Electro. You will find few police stations, fire stations, hospitals here. A lot of civilian buildings, military loot spawns, etc. From Stunnington you move northwest. There are two castles and one big summer camp. These places are perfect for some hunting gear. At this point you should have some decent sniper rifle and you just continue towards Paris Island. In my experience this loot run is most popular and there's always someone in Paris Island so be prepared for trouble. Second loot route is Oceanville Area 42. Here on Oceanville you need to move to Fisher's Camp. Loot whatever you can. If you're lucky you're gonna find some food maybe some gun and drink water at Fisher's camp. From here you swim north to this old church. From church you move to Fairfield or Eastbrook. Both these places are small civilian towns. You can find some food, clothing and other starting gear there. When you're done looting these places, head towards Valdeboro. This is big city and it's very similar to Severograd. There are a lot of buildings to loot, police stations, fire stations, hospitals and others. As this city is located in center of map and close to important locations, many players build bases there and it's quite busy. If you survive Valdeboro, head northeast, you definitely can check south of Rockenheim circuit. There are a lot of spawning points for hunting gear. You can find good sniper rifle there. From this point, head to Area 42. This is much bigger military than Paris Island. Originally, higher tier loot should be here. It's a really dangerous place. You can meet campers and snipers easily. By looting this place, you should have very decent loot. Third route is Oceanville Alcatraz. This one you start similar as Area 42 route. You get to Fisher's camp, you swim to church and from there you need to get to Eastbrook. You need to loot it and look for food, some ammo, civilian guns and other useful items. Definitely you need to be good on food. Usually you can hunt some pigs or other animals near Eastbrook. From there you need to move east to this small military. If you're lucky you might find SKS, M16 or other mid-tier guns here. When you're done looting this place you should move southeast. On your way you can check this ruined town. There are some bunkers that spawn military loot. Next to this town there's castle and it's a good place for hunting gear. From here you need to move southeast to closest place to Alcatraz. On your way you can loot this small military. You will not find anything exciting there but maybe some ammo, gun or other useful things. Now you need to eat and drink to prepare yourself for some swim. It will take some time but Alcatraz spawns a lot of good gear. This area is not that huge but you will find some good guns, blade carriers, ammo, grenades 
pots and other useful things here. Be careful, there's just one main entrance to Alcatraz and it's perfect spot for campers. There's also a secret tunnel that leads into Alcatraz, but not all players know about it. With some parkour, you can get inside prison building. Behind this poster, there's a secret tunnel that leads to more loot spawns. Our last loot route is Oceanville Barringer Island Military. This one is a little bit unconventional and can leave starvation or death from birth. I use this loot route when I died a few times and I want to try something different. For this route you need to get to the south side of this island. On your way you should loot civilian buildings and look for basic supplies, most importantly food. On southeast side with just a little bit of swimming you can pass to other side to Crotch Island. On north side of island there's small industrial for basic supplies, water and maybe some gun. When you're done looting this area head south to mine. There's some military spawns, if you're lucky you might get some decent gun. Underground maze at mine now is flooded so you cannot loot that but this area is big and you can find some decent loot here if you're lucky. From here you should go southeast to Beringer Island military. This is very dangerous task because this island is full of bears. At this point you might not have a weapon that can kill a bear. So you need to be careful not to aggro any of them. On this island a lot of heli crashes happen. If you manage to find one of them you could get a good gear. After looting Beringer military you should have plate carrier, automatic rifle, ammo and other loot. Near crater there is plane crash with skeletons. These skeletons might spawn very good high tier loot. This route is not that popular because these locations are quite distant. From here you need to travel quite far for next exciting locations. Best loot on Deer Isle can be found on Bunker and Arctic Ship. For Bunker you will need special key card, but Arctic Ship is part of complicated Deer Isle quest. If you want best loot and you have enough time, you should definitely loot these places. Deer Isle is huge and exciting map. There are many places that are not explained in this video. I encourage you to explore it and discover all the secrets of Deer Isle. If you enjoy Vanilla Plus DayZ game, play join middle ground servers for more information join our discord let's keep in touch